Well, it's the thing that they do on like at High School Musical. I'll be um with yeah. the like the fingers in front of the face. Yeah. <laughs> guys, my name's Jo and I'm an experience officer here at Science Space in Wollongong. And I am Erin. I'm one of the frontline staff here at Science Space. So last video we looked at air pressure and you were telling me a little bit about an experiment that you have and I thought it might be fun to do that on camera. But first, you have a school to take care of. I do. Yeah, so, so you should probably go and do that. I, but, yeah. but we might follow you. Okay. Okay. Cool. We'll go and do that. is perfect for water to boil? Uh, 100 degrees. Give or take, roughly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got some water here, recently boiled, not too long ago. Let's have a look at the temperature. Okay. Good. Okay. So recently boiled, again, great for tea. Water doesn't always boil at 100 degrees. I'm a little confused, because I mean, I was always taught that water boiled at 100 degrees Celsius, right? I mean, that is true for yeah. most of where people live. Right. Because pretty much all of us live roughly around sea level. So temperature, the water boils, depends on atmospheric pressure. We have something here at Science Space that can change the atmospheric pressure. We're gonna have a look at why water does not always boil at 100 degrees. We, we had a tiny bit of a, a water-related accident. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Thanks Things for that. Spills. No worries. Let's have a look at water boiling at a different temperature than we used to. Okay, how on earth are we going to do that? Well, let's have a look at a vacuum chamber. Okay. So Here's one we prepared earlier. Here's one we prepared earlier. This is a vacuum chamber that we can use mm -hmm. to alter the atmospheric pressure. I have a glass here. Yep. And I've got some water. Right. This water isn't hot, but it's a bit warm. Doesn't feel hot. I can stick my finger in it. Let's test the temperature. Okay. Okay. So it's about 30 degrees less than what we had upstairs, right? Yep, sure is. Okay. Is the water boiling? Okay, how do we tell? Is it bubbling? No, it's definitely not bubbling. So boiling is the process of changing from a liquid to a gas. So we've got our liquid mm -hmm. and it's definitely not turning into a gas right now, is it? No. No. I have my big dome-shaped here, I'm mm -hmm. going to put it over. Okay. So this is a vacuum pump mm -hmm. and this is going to lower the pressure in here. Okay. So pressure is basically how much stuff we have in there. Right. So we're going to take out some stuff. You ready? Yep. Oh, it's noisy. It is a bit noisy. Now let's watch it. Okay. Looks like it's starting to go. Oh, I can see it on the top there. Oh, here we go. Ah! Oh my goodness! It's boiling! It's boiling. Are you sure you haven't heated that up? I am 100% sure. Oh my now, goodness. before I take this vacuum away, and we, before we return this chamber back to normal atmospheric pressure, yeah. have a look at this. All this stuff around the outside. Yeah. What's that? Well, it kind of looks like, um, you know when you take a shower and you've got like steam on the, the window? Yeah, the right? Window? Yeah. It's water vapor. Here it is boiling. We've taken liquid water and we've turned it into gaseous water. Nice. All right, let's check the temperature. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Woo! All right, so let's have a look at it. Okay. Oh, it's gotten colder. It has. Whoa. So we mm -hmm. took away a lot of pressure. Mm -hmm. Pressure is the stuff that's holding this water into a liquid. Oh, okay. So if we get rid of all the stuff, mm -hmm. all of these molecules of the water can start dancing around a lot easier right. and a lot quicker. Yeah. So we end up with gaseous water, water vapor. 
Right, so yeah. there's not as much kind of stuff on top, like holding it down. Exactly. All right, thank you so much, Erin. That was really cool. Glad you enjoyed it. I hope was... you learned something new. I think I did. Yes, it was Excellent. really cool. Now, guys, if you want to come and visit us, please feel free. We have so many more exciting things to show you. You can find all the links to that information down below in the description. And if you have any more questions, anything you'd like me or any of our other staff to investigate, comment that down below. We're happy to figure out what you want to know. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.